So hi everyone, um, it's Angeline Murphy here. Thank you very much for coming back to my YouTube channel. I have had so much love for um, the leather and tweed dress I made for a Christmas wedding that I was at recently that I've decided to pull together a very quick video on how I pull together the creation. So um, I get inspiration from all different things and like many sort of um, home sewers and designers out there we all go to Pinterest um, when we want to seek out um, an idea. This was my inspiration and I absolutely loved it from the moment I saw the design. I thought it was just so elegant. The tweed was fantastic. Um, and I wanted to incorporate sort of the old school glamour into modern. So that was when I decided to add a touch of leather to the design. So my fabric I got from Fabrics Glore in London uh, at the Great British Show and Be Live event, which I attended this year. Um, as soon as I saw the fabric, I thought, boom, that's what I want. Um, that's what my garment's going to be made of. Now, at the very start, I thought, I'm going to make a jumpsuit. Um, but as my, I suppose my design process went on, I fiddled and I hemmed and hawed about designs. And I eventually thought, no, do you know what? I'm going to go for a long skirt. Lots of volume. Um, really, really rich, glamorous feel. Um, with a tight waistband. I really wanted to show off. Um, I suppose the curves of the female form and that's something that I'm very much into. I really believe that women used to have a great figure so let's show it off. Myself and my husband and my wee baby boy went to Paris in October and there's this beautiful little leather shop that does leather off cuts and I decided to pick up a bit of leather to go with the tweed. I thought that was such a great combination. So I come home and I had the two fabrics together and I started designing in my head what I wanted. Um, as I say, my inspiration was this dress that I had saw on Pinterest, but I wanted to mix it up and have a bit of modern with, with classic as well. So I got the sketchbook out. I sketched up a few ideas and then started seeking out patterns that would allow me to bring to life the idea that I had. Um, I very much always, I base my designs on patterns because I'm still very much learning how to create my own patterns and drape and, and things like that. That's my next challenge. But I decided to always, um, I always alter my patterns um, so I never take, I suppose, a shop bought pattern, um, I suppose, for face value. I always change it up. So for this dress, I decided to use the Berta 6777. Now yes it is a dress but I love the fullness of the skirt on the so this skirt actually took three meters of tweed fabric. I cut it here at the waistband and um, on the pattern it actually tells you where the waistband is so you can create it into a skirt um, and there's a lot of pleats in it, so that would allow me to give the fullness. Now, for the skirt as well, the tweed wasn't particularly really heavy, so I decided to add a muslin uh, in between, so a bit of interfacing in between the tweed and the lining to allow for that bit of fullness and that bit of luxury as well. So, that was the skirt that I used, and I made it in the muslin first of all, and then I cut from the muslin to the tweed fabric, and there's a lot of alterations on the muslin, so you're working on a cheaper fabric first and then transferring it onto the muslin because or transferring it onto the tweed because that's a more expensive fabric. So once I had the skirt pulled together, as I say, um I I, I cut the three metres of tweed, I cut the three metres of interlining with three metres of interfacing, and I also added some horse hair along the hem of the skirt to give it that wee bit of flow at the bottom and that wee bit of volume. Top of the dress I chose the Simplicity 8330 because I love the top of this dress um, and I love the Simplicity patterns which they are really easy to make. Now because I didn't have that much leather, um, it was only an off cut and it was quite expensive so we really need to ration it. I decided to um, go for the a design which has uh, actually has an open back which adds a wee bit of detail as well and I use the tweed for the neckline for the choker neckline as well the top which just sort of teamed and really did um, tie in the top to the skirt and worked really well. 
to really finish off the dress, I decided to um, try it on and then I decided, no, this needs a wee bit more detail. So I decided to create this handmade bow, which you can see, and it really, really, I think, adds the, finish, the finishing touch to this dress and it gives it a wee bit of, of style and a wee bit of modern, modernization um, to the design as well. Uh, so the tweed bow, oversized bow, really stood out. The dress was so glamorous that I needed um, something to finish it off, something to really, really make it stand out. So I teamed up with Cece Millinery who created this absolutely gorgeous headpiece, um, which incorporated the tweed from my skirt into the headpiece and it had berries just to represent the, the weather and the season. Also had this beautiful burgundy feather as well, which really tied in the whole outfit. So I teamed it up again with these gorgeous burgundy shoes from New Look um, and some burgundy gloves just to really, really finish off the look. Now to add in some final detail, and I'm all about the detail when it comes to dresses um, and just the finishing touch, I pulled out the Sussex machine um, and I used the flower applique um, to cut my um, scrap pieces of leather and I attached it to my top um, which from a distance you might not automatically see but then when you come a wee bit closer you see the detail of the dress and you see um, the effort that goes into the finesse of it all. So I actually used the Sizzix machine to die cut the leather and the flower to go on my top and also go on my handmade covered bag um, and then Carl, my milliner, was able to attach it to the headpiece as well so it all completely tied in. Um, I really, really enjoyed making this dress. I really loved wearing it. It was absolutely, I felt glamorous, I felt beautiful and with all my handmade dresses I feel, I just feel very empowered that I can wear something that I had a vision for at the start. And listen guys, you can make it too. You can make your own designs. Um, don't be afraid just to pick it up and give it a go and make mistakes and, and see how it turns out because listen, I made a lot of mistakes on this dress on the way through. I fell in love with it. Then I fell out in love with it. I was saying to my husband, I don't think I'm gonna wear this, I have to get something else. And friends were laughing at me because two weeks before the wedding I hadn't even got it made yet. Um, so don't think that from the very start of this creative process to the end that I just loved it so much. Um, you fall in and I love with it. And on the day it was absolutely fabulous to wear. And you all loved it as well. People loved it. Um, and I can't wait to make my next design. So it was, as you can see, it's very simple to make. Um, ties in lovely. It's all about getting the right fabric. Um, getting the right cut and knowing what style suits you as well. So thank you very much for um, tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please pop them in the box below. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I plan to do a lot more videos in 2018 and beyond. So if you have any advice, any tips. Um, but in the meantime, thank you for watching and Happy New Year.